do it. I dare ya. I said do it. What are you? A chicken? What? Oh, the other kind of draw. Like art? Yeah, that does make more sense. Greetings and sophistications. I'm Kyle and I'm going to show you how to draw. You know, like art draw with a pencil and such. Not like a cowboy with a gun and such. Before we begin, let me briefly tell you the rich history of art. <laughs> Pun not intended. According to the interweb, art is dozens of years old. Perhaps even older. As late as the mid-1600s, the world was covered with cavemen, cave women, cave teenagers, cave toddlers, and cave babies. These human-like creatures created the incredible science we now know as art. Although they first used sticks and mud, these simple, lovable, winged beings quickly adapted and started painting. They painted everything. Caves, and other caves, some cliffs, a few rocks, more caves, However, painting was tough. It's not like how it is today where we can just drive to the nearest gas station to pick up painting supplies. No, they had to make their own material. For paint, they mixed the saliva of a river otter with the blood of a pterodactyl. And for paintbrushes, they combined the bones of a jackalope with the hair of a woolly mammoth. And that's why there's none of those four animals left on Earth today. Well, I think that's enough of a history lesson right now. We've all heard those art stories a million times by now. We know them by heart. But before we get started again, I have a special treat for you. I have some works of art, my personal bests, that I want to show you. So I can prove, once and for all, that I do know what I'm talking about on this show. Here's the first one I want to show for you. This is called Grey Submarine. Uh, I painted this one a long, long time ago. It's uh, kind of a mix between paint and paper mache. A very, uh, a very expert technique that I used here. And as you can tell, this is the the submarine. Uh, here's the the fins of a mermaid. There's another mermaid that's up here. Uh, down here we have these white rocks. Uh, or the radioactive from the the nuclear submarine that's going by. And then down here we have a sun. What? Oh. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 it's like this. So this is the sun, these are clouds. Uh, these are uh, cactuses that are growing at the bottom of the ocean. And this is a shark or porpoise or dolphin thing. For art piece number two, may I present Silhouette. Uh, this is a piece I created back in 1997. So as you can tell, even at a very young age, I was extremely talented. I traced this one out and then I glued it onto the piece of paper. Uh, the third piece here in my quick showcase, this is a self-portrait I did a long time ago as well. Uh, I think I did a really, really impressive job. Uh, this is back when I had blonde hair. Now it's kind of a, a darker brownish color. Uh, I have uh, my face with two blue eyes, a uh, pink nose, and a red shape for a mouth. Uh, two ears, of course. And then here's my blue shirt. I'm very proud of that. And I have, uh, looks like, five Cheerios that uh, I must have spilled on my shirt that day. And this is the last piece I'm going to show you today because I, I don't want you to get so depressed that you're looking at all these great works of art like, Kyle, I could never make something that good. No, trust me. You'll eventually get here. So this is the last one here. This is... Uh, this is like a, a post postmodern work of art. Very proud of. Uh, I, I, I learned... Uh, many, many times how to do this one. And so you have the, the rich colors of the yellow, the red, uh, the orange, and the brown. And of course, those symbol, symbolize many, many different things in my life and just me personally. And so I, I don't really want to get into it, specifically what they represent, because it's kind of personal. But uh, just trust me that this is very deep, very modern, and uh, a very impressive work of art. All right, folks, it is that time. I have taught you the rich history of art I've wowed and amazed you with my works of art. Now comes the soup de jour, or the art of the day. 
And I'm gonna be using this fancy tablet here. This is a Doodle Pro tablet. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere for about $20 or so. It just amazes me that Apple can get away selling $500, $800, $1,000 or more for their tablets. When this little guy here can do pretty much the exact same thing. So let's get going here. I'm gonna be drawing this famous green character. You know who he is, I know who he is. Kermit the Frog, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is just one of my favorite characters of all time, a Nickelodeon icon, I love him so much. So let's turn him around so I can actually see what I'm doing while I'm drawing this. You're gonna be using this tablet, you're gonna be using this fancy pen or lapis, as they call it in Portuguese, and you're just gonna be drawing. So just kind of let the pen guide you, don't you guide the pen, let it guide you. And I like to start out and work my way in, kind of like a hurricane over Christmas, all right? So we're gonna start with the jacket and his body and just kind of just, just start sketching the basic outline, all right? Just do your very best. And while I'm doing this, why don't I tell you a little bit more about art, all right? It's predominantly found in France. That's like the gateway to art over there. So why don't I enrich you with my top five favorite things that are French, all right? Anything that's France associated, my top five favorite things. Number one, French fries. You know them, I know them. They're so good, American treat over here. Number two, French toast. One of the best breakfast foods out there. Is it healthy? Not at all, but it is so, so tasty. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm continuing on here. I did the ears, I did the face, did the eyes. I'm just gonna add some more, some lines and shadowing. All right, and while I'm finishing this guy up, let me run through my top five favorite movies because you're probably curious and I'm curious too. Now, I like Star Wars. Okay, I love Star Wars. I, I know everything about those movies. All of them I've seen. I know the dialogue. I know every single character. Like you put a character in front of me and like I can immediately recognize it. I can tell you its name, its home planet, every line of dialogue it's had in any movie or cartoon. Like I love Star Wars so, so much. So my top five favorite movies, Honestly, just pick five random Star Wars films and they're gonna be my top five. All right, so I think we are pretty much done here. Um, let me just add a little bit more shadow, lines, texture, and character. Just kind of give it some depth. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Let me turn this little guy around so you can see it. This, of course, is Kermit the Frog in all his glory. I think he turned out pretty well. I'm very pleased with the progress in what we did here in, what, two minutes or so? Like, art should not take you that long, all right? It shouldn't take you days or weeks or months or years like Michelangelo did with that, you know, sister chapel. No, like, it should just, it should be quick. It should be dirty. If, if it takes longer than 10 minutes to create something, you're probably doing it wrong, all right? Um, so, yeah, there's Kermit the Frog for you. Well, this is officially a wrap of how to draw. Uh, I'm very proud and pleased of what we drew, drew here? Drew, drew, what we drew, 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 draw, draw. I'm very pleased what we draw here. All right, this is, of course, Kermit the Frog. I'm very happy of, of the progress in what we did. So if I can do this, you can do this, all right? It doesn't take a caveman. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. As long as you have at least one hand or appendage or even a mouth, you can draw, and you might even be able to draw as good as me if you really try. Thanks for watching, and I'm so happy I was able to learn you today. Subscribe.